Hey everyone, we are back with What's Sold on eBay for Monday. Crazy busy weekend last week. If you did not see the video, check it out. We had a pretty big uh, sale item in there. One of our bigger sales probably ever. Took a while to pack it. Three boxes. Ended up costing like 130 in shipping or something like yeah. that. Um, but it took a while. Linda packed pretty much everything else while I worked on this thing because it was an $800 sale. So if you haven't seen it, hopefully I'll put a little card up there that you can click on. But go back and watch it for sure. Today... Still had a good day of sales, but much easier stuff to pack. So definitely more manageable. Uh, where we'll appreciate the break today, but we'll hope some more sales keep coming in this week so we can keep making that money, clearing some stuff out of the garage, and making room for more stuff. So, babe, anything you want to say? I'm tired. It's pretty late. The kids did not go up to bed to bed at their normal time. Their nap was all messed up today. So, well, because last night was messed up. Last night was messed up, yeah. Had Not only were we up late packing, but they both had rough nights, so it's just kind of carried over into today. But you know how it is if you're parents. So it takes a couple days to recover from a bad uh, night. <laughs> exactly. For all of us. Yeah. And we're a couple that when they finally recover, we're still a couple days beyond them because we have to, you know, get them back in a routine so then we can get back in our routine, it feels like. How did we do that? What were our totals? First off, no sales on Mercari or Posh. No. Unfortunately. But on eBay... On eBay, we did have 13 sales for 446 It's a pretty good day. There's one big one here and a lot of bread and butter stuff. Some that's pretty funny that we've actually been able to sell. And then I had a couple items I just listed, I think. So can't complain. Let's go ahead and get into it. First item. First item is Pushing Daisies, uh, the complete second season. Sold for $12 mm -hmm. shipped. Um, this is an item that we picked up at our local library bookstore. It was a uh, used bookstore. Two bucks. I know this if you have the whole the one season one and two, you get about 25 or 30 bucks. I saw this one jumped on it for two bucks and it sold for twelve dollars shipped. So a pretty easy medium mail item in a bubble wrap. Plus we like supporting the library. That's pretty one of our uh, people that we like to spend our money with. Then we've got a box of Mentadent whitening toothpaste. Um, this sold for forty dollars shipped. Yeah, this one's sealed. We sold a bunch of Mentadent stuff already. Uh, this was one little piece we had left that I thought was listed, but it wasn't. Pulled it out and saw that it wasn't, and it sold pretty quickly. So happy to see it go. And then next up, we've got the commentary parallel of the New Testament. And this is a hardcover Bible thing, and it sold for $18 shipped. And someone, like, tabbed it themselves, so that wasn't like that. But it still sold, so pretty good. Oh. Happy with that. I think Some that, nice tabs, though, for nothing. Yeah, they did a good job. I think that was a dollar for that one. And then we've got an uh, Apple this box. This is a iPhone 11 box it's one of the only. newer iPhones, I think. The iPhone yeah, 12 right. might be out. I don't yeah, know. this is the 11. And this one sold for $12 shipped. And we basically told you guys for like months leading up to the end of last year, we, we really weren't listing as many Apple boxes. They just The market had crashed. And then we sold a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, we sold a lot of our ones that we had. And we're still selling some, but we will try to stick to the newest stuff. The older stuff doesn't seem to really sell that well, but we'll see one more Apple item here later. Did I say that one was $12? <clears throat> 12 bucks, yeah. Okay, then we've got a tape. This is Jim... Hmm. Croce? 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 Crossy? I don't know. C-R-O-C-E. And it's his greatest hits. Oh, he sings bad, bad, Leroy Brown. Bad, I probably shouldn't sing. I can't sing, but also for the copyright. But they, there's no way they would fly. You get 15 seconds, right? Yeah. Um, but that one did sell for $10 shipped. I don't know if I know the other ones, though. I bet you I do. Anyways. Then we've got a MacBook Air I'm not, box. We have two of them. We have two of the same exact box. I need to check to see which one it is. Oh, okay. Um, but this is... I have them both out because I didn't double check the serial number, but... Oh, so this is the 13-inch MacBook Air box only, and this one sold for $19 shipped. So pretty good. That was a dollar. That's what we pay for them. Um, usually these ones, the, 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 what are they, laptop ones will ship over a pound, like that eight or yeah. nine bucks a lot of times, or just barely sometimes first class. The iPhone boxes and usually the little tablet ones almost always go first class. Yeah. Eight so. to ten ounces, depending on what version it is. Yeah, so, and some of them, like, they're really thin, like, half this size. But yeah. the MacBook one's usually a little bit more. Then we got a book. This is Guns Up, a first-hand account of the Vietnam War. Um, and that one sold for $6 and some change. I think that was from a three fifty by 2 but not really a valuable one, but it's on its way. Then we got Barney and Friends, oh, Our Earth, Barney. Our Home on VHS. Gotta and this love one. good old Barney from 92. Right. 
Yeah, we used to sing the I Love You song to Zayn like every night. I had to when... teach Linda how the song actually goes. Yeah, apparently I was singing it wrong. But um, anyways, we sang, like sang it to did him. you watch the knockoff version? We sang it to him every mm-hmm. night, and that was what he would fall asleep to. So. Now I have to read him Peter Pan every night. It's great. And this one sold for 16 and a half to ship. Uh, these Barney and Friend ones, these are the um, Time Life ones. Some of these ones, if you have a whole set of them, sell a little better, just to be clear, the Time Life ones. Then we got some Fast Feast Purely Filet. These are all chicken. We have two boxes of 10, and they sold for? Uh, like 24 each. 24 something each. Yeah, it's worth it, like 20 But it was, yeah, the person <clears throat> bought two cases of them for almost $49. This is from one of our big investments into cat food. No, I bought a bunch of cat food from one of my sources. 20 bucks was all brand new, good expirations on it. Um, he got it from a, a clean out or whatever, and we made some good money on it actually, surprisingly. Yeah. We've, we've made enough where it was worth it. I wasn't sure if it really was going to be, but this yeah, is. Yeah, when he brought home, I'm like, these nah. little fillets have been selling. Though. These are for the people who love their cats more than we love ours. Well, yeah, the, the to... person, the note from the buyer says, my cats appreciate it. Thanks. So That's <laughs> cool. I'm happy it's going to a good home. Um, we have a couple more little cat food items left, but 40-something bucks on that. I think we probably sold 150 bucks maybe or 130 bucks of cat food so far for 20 bucks investment. We have a little bit more. If it sells, we might hit the 200 or somewhere near there. So was worth it, but I mean, don't go out and buy it all the cat food. It starts getting too close to the expiration date, though. We'll give it to Divinity. Yeah, we'll give it to our cat, so she might luck out. <laughs> Next item. Next item. This is a pair of Nike LeBron James basketball shoes. Um, these ones are size 11. Um, they don't have the insoles on them, but they still sold for $60 shipped. I'm not big on buying shoes without insoles unless they're a really good shoe that I know someone will want or someone will want to put their own insole in because usually it does lower the price. Um, those ones <laughs> for 60 I think they were 10 bucks, so I'm happy with that. They've been up for a little while. Then we got a Cuisinart blade. This is the slicing it, shredding oh. blade. Yeah, this is for like a small. You guys used to have seen like the big ones. This is for a little tiny Cuisinart. The dinky ones. Not the, not the super small, it's but the I think it's AFP like AFP7. Yeah, the middle of the road one. Yeah. But, but uh, it did sell for eight and a half ship. So not a whole lot. Um, you're better off sometimes selling that as a whole unit, not with the base, but the bowl, the lid, and the blade seem to sell better. Then we've got a Derma Wand. This is a high frequency skincare system, and it does come with the nice black case that I guess you could have gotten it like with a certain purchase. Um, but it sold for $143 shipped, I'm, and it is a Kylie buy. Yeah, you know, got it. One of the last things we picked up when we went out garage. So I think I spent ten bucks on it, and it sold pretty, pretty forty one forty three. Is that what you said? Yeah. So yeah, pretty good for that. Um, it does power up, seems to work, but. Some of these sell pretty high if you can find them. It works. Well, no, she I'm didn't use it, so. <laughs> and then our last sale for the night. We got about 20 minutes, so we'll see what happens. I doubt it, but we'll see. This is Ghetto Boys, The Resurrection on cassette. It is a rare single, we mm. think. Oh, no, it's no, not it's a single. No, it's not. It just it didn't oh, have the case. It didn't have the case. That's just, all. That's what it was. Um, yeah. But it did sell for 22 and a half shipped. So that's from the, um, we had a bunch of rap cassettes a couple years ago. Maybe now that's what it is, a half a year and a half ago. And we sold through a bunch from it. Was a, it was a $20 buy as well. Same guy from the cat food guy. And um, we made a lot of money on them. So those old rap cassettes, especially stuff that's just a little bit more obscure or not as common or whatever, seems to sell pretty well. So that's all we got, guys. We'll both be back tomorrow with what sells on Tuesday. And um, we'll see if anything else sells tonight. But like Linda said, not much time left. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. We are back with what sold on eBay for Tuesday. Continuing the video, had some decent sales today. I can't find one jacket, so I'm kind of a little bit annoyed. So hopefully I can find it. Um, I spent five bucks on it, sold for 30. So maybe it'll show up here if I find it. If not, uh, I couldn't find it. So hopefully we'll find it though. Babe, how did we do today? Um, we had 14 sales for just over 360. So a pretty good day, kind of the average. Uh, a lot of bread and butter stuff, a couple of bigger ones. One lady finally paid for a yearbook that's been like eight days, and I hadn't even canceled it yet. I could have, but I just for whatever reason didn't. Unfortunately, she pays. So let's get into it. That'll be the first item here. This is a 1996 Bloomington Christian School yearbook out of Bloomington, California. And this one sold for $25 shipped. 
So that was a good one right there. Uh, I think I have a couple bucks into it. $25 offer is more than fair for a yearbook. Happy to see it go. <clears throat> Next up, we have a Scentsy Wrap. This is the Chickadee in the original box for $13 and some change. They probably go first class. It's pretty light. So this is from Linda. She got a bunch of this Scentsy stuff um, from somebody. So we sold it. We didn't make a ton on like the wraps or whatever. But the other pieces that we have made some money on. So, But it was free, so... It was free, so that's the good part. Free is good. Next item. Next up, we have the very best of Bert Kempfert. 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 I don't know. And this one, the CD10. Yeah, yeah. that's where we spent ten dollars on two boxes of C, two tubs of CDs and DVDs. And this one sold for ten dollars shipped. So ten bucks. So, and we sold like a couple other things already from that. So we've already made some good money. Then we <laughs> have a five pack of one pound rock cod weight sinkers for deep drop fishing yep and they sold for twenty dollars they were from a tackle box that i got for two bucks i think i sold some lures out of there and then i just slotted these up and someone i sent an offer out for 20 bucks and they took them they'll go on a pad of flat rate you know worst case scenario or whatever but I obviously five pounds but yeah but a box in the pad of flat rate if they what no the small pad the small flat rate oh small flat rate box yeah they'll probably Cheaper fit in there yeah they'll probably fit in there actually yep. but gonna be quite a heavy little package there yeah uh, but again, I don't know much about the weights. I just wadded them up and we did okay. Next up, we've got Justice League Heroes for Xbox Original. And it sold for $13 and some change. I think this one was also just listed from that Xbox. Probably. We've been selling a lot of those games. So that's a good one right there. We're probably in those for about 2 bucks a piece. Then we've got a Honda Manual. Oh, this I is did the... get it. You just didn't see it, I guess. <clears throat> Then we've got a Honda manual. This is a Honda Accord 98 to 2001 um, factory service manual. And that one is out of the $700 manual buy. And it sold for $37 shipped. That was our lowest dollar sale one. But even if they all sold at that price, we would make quite a bit of money. So, cannot complain. Um, that one has is used. It's got some marks and scuffs. But people will still buy them. They just want to have them in their, at their house to kind of look over while they're working on their own vehicle. So, something to keep an eye out. So this Blu-ray player um, did sell for $63 and some change. So we say not to really pick up Blu-ray players unless they are of a higher quality. And obviously this one is, which is why it sold for so much. And it is the 3D one. And we bought it aftermarket when we've talked about, I think this was like 8 or 10 bucks on eBay um, to put pair with it. It does work. We tested it and a good little unit. But like she said, don't go buy every Blu-ray player. You'll end up with a lot of duds. Um, the jacket that did sell, which you might see here, is a Disney polka dot mini mm -hmm. Minnie Mouse jacket. It was five bucks. It sold for a best offer of thirty. We'll go first class if I can find it. So hopefully we can find it. Next up, we've got a four pack of genuine black Nintendo Switch Joy Con wrist straps. Um, so these are the ones to hook on so you don't throw your wrist remote. So don't go crazy there. Those ones sold for eighteen dollars. And there's shipped. four of them. So I bought them at a garage, so they were just sitting on the table. He wanted a buck for all four of them and sold them for 20, 18 bucks. That's pretty good. Um, I've sold a original, like a set of just two for about eight or nine bucks. So even if you find two of them, you can still sell them. Yeah. And then we've got a pair of horrid heels. These are an open toe, size eight. They are cute. And they've got a... Originally forty nine fifty. And they sold for $25 shipped. Yeah, Tord's a pretty good selling brand for clothing. We've sold some of it before, um, especially new with tag stuff. But I didn't know about the shoes. They were 2 bucks. We sold them for $25. you are probably going to ship them for 10 to 12 I'm guessing. Maybe 8 if they're going somewhere close. So yeah. we'll make a little bit of money, but not super great. But some of the people I buy shoes from, I'm picking them up for an average sale price of 2 or $3 a shoe. So sometimes it helps if I buy in bulk to get a bunch of them. So I'm not mad about that. Then we got a vintage set of homestead knives. These are oh, yeah, this made in Japan. Tube, bubble wrap tube. Yeah, so they are all in there. There is eight of them. I think five of them are like the steak knives, and then you've got the bigger chef knife and the other ones for cutting different things. And this set sold for forty nine forty nine. Yeah, those were five bucks at a garage sale as well. Um, not the best brand, but sometimes those old like Chicago cutlery homestead ones. If you have a good set of them, that's a vintage one. Someone might buy it. So. Might be worth your time. Uh, this one? Then we've got Elevates for the Wii. Not He's a sure. weird looking guy. Uh, I've never seen it before, but uh, this one sold for $9 and some change. I've never heard of this game, but it's different. But we'll take the 9 bucks on it. 
And then we've got Rocks and Minerals, the Smithsonian Handbook. And we sold some rocks the other day, so maybe they needed this book too. Who knows? Yeah, and it is a bestie buy, and it sold for $14 I think it shipped. came with the minerals the, when we got the rocks. It's from the same buy, I think. Because we had a couple other crystal books and stuff too. And then our last sale for the night right now is Ziggy Marley on nice. CD. Nice. And this one sold for $9 and some change. From 2016. Good old Ziggy Marley. That's it, guys. So nothing really crazy, nothing to really go, you know, out there and tell your parents about. But um, the Samsung one was a pretty good one. Obviously, the manual sold in the nice, and then a bunch of bread and butter stuff. But it pays the bills. A lot of people out there, you know, if you can find this type of stuff at your garage sales, you can make some money. So you don't always have to have home runs, and it's hard to constantly only have home runs too. So that's all we got. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to find that jacket. Linda's gonna look for this stuff, and Linda will be back if anything else sells in the next hour or so. Anything you want to say? Alrighty guys, thank you for watching.